It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my series of the Dominion of India, where I'm going to mid-max it to the maximum potential, unify India as quickly as possible, and hopefully demolish everyone and become a god. Okay, so at this point, we have an option to gain cause and political power, gain cause and declare war, or just get claims. We don't want to posse out, do we? We're going to declare war. As you can see, we do take this land immediately. And then... Oh, actually, it's here. Oh, I thought it was... I thought it was on the other side. Never mind, that's okay. So, all you guys are in the right position. We're going to tell you to attack and be aggressive. You guys, on the other hand, I'm going to select you and railroad you forward. And then go for the capital immediately. Oh, and you guys have propped them in. This is going to be the shortest war ever. Yeah, I think we're going to do this immediately almost. Yeah, I think it is. This is the quickest I've ever done this. Usually you get stuck in the mountains for a little while. But luckily this division here has got stuck. So in this case, it looks like it's already over. Wow, that was really incredibly fast. Wow. Luckily there's no event you have to deal with. It's kind of like a... I don't know, some kind of annoyance that you have to deal with later on. Okay, so that's good. So you guys are ready. Boom, good. Right. And let's position everyone to attack the Princely Federation. And put you guys here and attack on there. Now, guys, come on. We want everyone to railroad, okay? Everyone railroads. Get some more political power. I realize I could have gone for war economy. Uh, probably not, actually. No, I probably couldn't have done that. We're going to go for the social conservative guy for extra construction, research time, and factory output. India occupies Nepal, and we are pretty much going to say that they're ours. Belongs to us. In that case, we'll lose some political power. Remember, you want to maximize your gains. In this case, we want to hold on to those two factories for as long as possible. So everyone's on the front line here, digging in deep. That's good. We've got a new gun, which is a bit of a pain, really, because it means we're going to use more steel. I realize, too, are these guys elite? Yeah, they are. That's good. These are a few two divisions that spawned inside of Nepal when we invaded them. And uh, I'll just exercise them for a few days just to get them up to an, a decent level. Uh, prepare for the final struggle, and I think we are good to go at this point. I think we feel relatively strong. 14 to 37 compared to 45, we are significantly stronger than them. So, the first one you go for is continuing the preparations for the final struggle, which gives you a bus boost to a lot of free stuff, which is nice. I don't know if populations are going to help you, though, because you already got a massive pop as it is, but regardless, you go for it. And then you can decide what to do, who you want to attack, and what you want to do. You need to have a close eye on what they're going to be doing, though. No, unite the princes. Removes the head of that ideas from the Prince of Federation. Okay, I'm not sure what that actually does. We're going to find out anyway. We're going to find out. Oh, the, the Russian Republic has changed their flag. And they're democracy? Oh, the national populist. The Russian state. Wow. Um, da, 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 da. Going to go for infantry equipment. All right, everything is going relatively well so far. I think probably after this, we're going to focus on civvy factories, probably. Yep. Send these guys to the front line. One little thing I always like to do, it's probably just me because I'm weird, but I always like to sign the color of the front line to the ones you've assigned them to. So orange with orange. I don't know, it's just something I like to do. Put you guys here, put you guys on elite. Still waiting for those artillery, oh, it's support equipment that we're low on. We don't really have full blown engineers for this, but it's okay. We desperately need grand battle plan here. This one is really important. That 30% equates to 30% extra damage. So we need to make sure we get that one ready and prepared. Engineers is not going to help us. We could rush ahead for artillery. We could go for computing machine. 
Actually, no, radio is going to be more useful. We need reinforce rate because we've got a lot of stacks. So that extra 5% reinforce rate means we're going to do more damage as more troops are going to be able to engage simultaneously. We've lost the investments. Okay. <coughs> Okay, that fired as well when I was at war with Nepal. I didn't spot it. So this locks, unlocks the right side of the tree that lets you get more research slots. That's something you want to do only when you've got your industry all prepared. So I wouldn't recommend doing that anytime earlier. Um, okay, so... Uh, it's best when you finally go for this to try and engage in war as soon as you can. Because you gain the extra division recovery, which is really nice. Okay. I think we are ready to declare war. So we're going to attack the southern traitors. Oh, they've changed the name. The Hyderabad. Hyderabad? Okay. I feel like we probably should sign one more onto you too. Working on those engineers, which is good. Artillery is kicking back too. If we want to assign artillery onto you, it would cost us a thousand pieces of artillery. That's nice to know. We probably could exercise you guys. How long would it take you to get to... Oh, they go up about 4%. I think that extra 25% is definitely worth it. So I think we're going to rush that. Can't do that one. We need computing machine. So we can go for the encryption advantage. We can gain an extra potentially. A lot more extra damage. So that's something we don't want to say no to. So look, these guys are training really quick. Probably because they're crappy divisions. It feels like the simpler the divisions are, the less things they've got added to them, the, the easier it is for them to be uh, to gain experience when you exercise them. But look at all these guys have like gone to veteran really quick. Yeah, they're all veterans now. Well, not veterans, you know what I mean, though. There you go, look, they've got all the planning bonus, too. So this is the plan for this, guys. We are going to make a push here uh, into the plains. The temperature's not helping us, which is annoying, but whatever. But we are going to make a push. We have to attack into two directions. Our main force here, but this one just to hold these guys in place. The forest is annoying, though, because we lose 20% of our attack power. Yeah. Put you guys here, put you guys here. Well, everyone's good to go, I think. Destroy the southern traitors. Uh, focus more on our industry, and then we're going to declare war. All right, boom, boom, boom. Here. Awesome. So as you can see now, we pinned them in place, and we are fighting them. We get a little bit of air support too. When I say a little bit, I mean the smallest amount possible. The distance is just so much. We're going to have to try and capture an airport. I don't know where the airport is, though. The issue right now is because they've uh, they're dug in quite deep. It's causing a lot of issues for us to break through. And they are going to try and reinforce. Speed the game up. We've made a break here. That's good. Keep pushing, though. When initially they do break, you get an opportunity to keep pushing in and break further and further and further forward. So you just want to keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, can you keep that guy locked in, please? I want the militia to fall through the bat line to keep pushing. Because otherwise we're going to run into a lot of problems. Radio's done. A little bit delayed on that radio. That is slightly annoying. Um, artillery or this point we are actually open to what to do hmm mm, I think we'll go for artillery <clears throat> move you guys here keep up the front line nice and open See, so yeah, as you can say, when you initially make the push, they break their entrenchment. And you don't want them to gain more entrenchment. So when you make gains, you want to capitalize on them as much as you can. So as I said, I keep pushing, I keep pushing. So the opportunity to help out in the Civil War, it's always a good idea because you get you, you get all the stuff back in the long run anyway. So it's all good. 
pays for itself in the long, long, long run. We're going to probably hold you guys in position. Oh, is this two areas? No, it's just one. So breaking these guys is a bit of a problem. Now I think about it, probably want to do that. The only problem now is because I've stopped engaging them. They're building entrenchments, so I want to keep use, keep keep the push. Keep the push. Alright, you guys stay in place. You guys go here. Let's see the entrenchments a lot lower than it once was. We're, oh, we're up to date on everything now. That's good. These rivers are not a nuisance. Oh, look, the pinning is in place. That's so frustrating. Every time we do engage them, though, we are pushing them back. It's just... Having to re-engage them over and over and over again. That's a bit annoying. Eventually, we are going to end up breaking them, so it's all good in the long run. But this is the trickiest bit. But the good news is if we capture this, we do get an airport, so we are winning. And you can see we're struggling a little bit here. It might be a good idea to build up planning bonus. The only problem is, is our planning bonus might not be as much as their entrenchment. I think, we're well, no, we actually are breaking them. No, we have broke them, that's fine. Okay, so how big is this airport? It's fairly big. So in that case, we'll bring you guys down. And now we will notice that we are actually going to do some critical damage to them. One, two, three, four, four. Go here. And you guys, one, two, three. Go here. And then here as well. All go in the same spot. There we go. I'm going to try and shimmy around. The hardest part is the, the movement speed penalty between here and the river. So I want to try and lock them behind. I'm going to try and shimmy down a little bit here. It's going to be tricky. So I am going to try. Oh, go down. They seem to be continuously trying to engage the army position here. Can I get around you? Yeah, we do, but it doesn't matter. It's all done. Alright, this is it. Pretty much the war's over now. We have completely smashed them. And at this point, they are losing organization as well. Okay, so at this point, I mean, you would try and capitalize and get rid of these guys, but now I know that this is the AI, I can't be bothered. So in this case, we're just gonna... Uh, what are we gonna do, actually? We're going to probably assault Bombay, probably. Yeah, that's fine. Are we doing on artillery? I think we'll add the artillery on. Yeah, I think we will, actually. That's good. So that will add a lot of power to the existing infantry, so we'll do a lot of damage. And we're doing... With supply. Supply is good. Right, you guys can stop moving now. Uh, what else can we go for? Can't go for war economy. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba. There's guys here that could help out. Uh, land attack at night plus 15%. That's pretty good. Reconnaissance plus 100%. This guy's pretty good. We need reconnaissance though. Yeah, we'll work on that in a moment. All right, boom, we're gonna go here. Stop, here, stop, see here, stop, here, stop, here, stop, here. And then another one, go here. And that should lock all these armies in the north, hopefully. Loads of extra factories, okay. The commune is justifying us. Literally, this is the worst time for this to fire. Because we're like, deep within a war. I suppose if this was a player, this would be genius. This timing would be like, mwah. Uh, but right now, that's a bit of a problem. So we're having issues having to deal with two fronts. So in this case, we need to position some of these guys. Yeah. So I need you guys to break off. 
We need to be prepared for this because otherwise we're going to get absolutely shrecked. Okay, so how is this going at the moment? So current wars, where am I? Here we are. They're at 59%. Ah, this is good. We're going to cripple them here. I think this might be enough to end it. Maybe. This is actually pretty tense because we're at a moment right now where we could get absolutely decimated. Go here. You guys go here. And then here. You guys go here. Go here. Go here. And then go here. I just want to push the northern front just a little bit uh, to prevent any kind of fallback. Alright, you guys can die now. Alright. Are we going to have to make a push towards here? Here we are, aren't we? And then to here. And then that's pretty much it. This is their puppet as well, isn't it? Have these got any divisions? Yeah, they've got loads. How long we got? Alright, we've got loads of time, actually. I feel like we, we're rushing ourselves a little bit. Yeah, we're rushing ourselves. Let's slow down a little bit, Dave. I think we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Computer machines, good. Go for the decryption advantage. Gonna get the extra nice artillery. Do we rush that? Tempting. Really tempting. I think we need to focus on industry now, though. There was something else. Oh, we're gonna go for reconnaissance, weren't we, as well? Go here, then go here. Is that going to be enough, or is it not over yet? Ooh, what? They're camping their capital? Really? Oh, wow. Why are you... I have to press S to break them away, don't I? We have captured all of the main cities and the dead. Okay, awesome dead. Okay, we have to pass a few times. Boom, dead. Alright, now we are prepared now to assault you boys. Um, go here. And then we're going to launch our assault here. Yeah, that's where we're going to launch the assault. How many days we got? Probably about 20, 15 days, maybe. Um, ba, 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 ba. No, that's all good. That's the right position. And this is cool because we get to capture an airport like pretty much immediately, too. This is sweet because the artillery we're going to be delivering now is going to do some crazy damage. After this one, I think we're going to go for the research buff too. It's nice that one of those declare war on us because that means we don't have to do a national spirit. So we can focus on uh, national focus. That means we can do something else, which is always good. Okay, so we're not, we want to add on engineers. How much would it cost? About a thousand pieces of support equipment. Yeep. Uprising in the south. Yeah, I'm aware of that. So what happens is when you occupy areas in the south. Oh, actually, this is something different. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Fair enough. Oh, whoa. So they get a free event that gives them some free troops. <coughs> Choking on myself. Uh, they get some free troops. Okay, I didn't actually know that actually happened. Well, that's kind of a, nu a nuisance. Uh, I'll have to sort that out immediately. The defensive guy is our boy. Can join the ISAC. Oh, and that usually fires immediately and you get it for free. Okay, for some reason it's not fired. I don't know why. Maybe I'm early. I don't know. Alright, that's what we're going to do. I think that is going to be doable. More resistance. So, when you occupy areas of India that weren't rightfully yours from the start of the game, you get that event that fires over and over and over again. It is a nuisance. You can fix it. You have to call your nation. That just pretty much involves going through the national focus tree. Easy. 
And there you go, full control of this area now. Oh, we've got broken away. Go here. Got to be careful, we might get encircled. The damage to the infrastructure is just for the most part, just kind of annoying, I suppose. There we go, I've captured quite a lot of their land. The good news here is if you make a spearhead through here, you get to split them into two pieces, which is really decent. Oh, they've not taken out Burma. They usually annex Burma. I guess, as I do, every game of Kaiserreich is a little bit different. In this case, they've not chosen to annex them. Okay, that's actually pretty cool because they're actually pushing us back quite aggressively too. It's nice to see the AI being so strong. They're also making some slight pushes and that artillery is making a massive difference. We managed, we managed to hold a lot more firmly than we once were. But we need to stop making new troops now because those troops aren't helping us out. How's our production at the moment? Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You guys are here, and you're, as I can see, you're burning. You're burning organization, too. Well, there you go, that's something I wasn't aware of. There's a, an event in the game that causes you to... Uh, to get rebels spawn behind you. I think it might be one of these ones. Let's, actually, let's just double check that right now. Is it called Insight... Socialists in the North unite, maybe, or take Delhi? I'm not sure. Oh, look, you're all surrounded now. Oh, dear. That's not good. Okay, so... This is 20 combat width. I think it might be a good time to make this a 20 combat width as well. Because I don't want any instances where I'm over the combat with, because it's just going to be an annoyance. It's good. We've surrounded these guys. Oh, what do they have? Commune of France and Britain. Are they in the... Oh, it's just... Eastern... Syndicalist Union. Okay. Alright, I think that might be enough to break it. We've got so much combat width here, 240 combat width, so much combat happening here, and we're getting the penalty to encirclement too, so we're completely demolishing them. I think these guys are locked in too now as well, yeah they are. That's great. Alright, we're going to compose our army now and make a push towards... Oh, now I think about it. Usually because they control Burma, they usually move the capital to here, but... In this case, they've not, because, well, they don't have control of that anymore, do they? This is interesting. So there might be an opportunity for me to make a free push. Oh, they've got forts here. I don't think we're going to be able to break that. Oh, then again, we have got air coverage, so maybe we will. Oh, did they capture this back? Or was that always their capital? I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, that, was, that is their capital now. That's good. Okay, that's good. Um, this gives computing machine. Then we go for research. God, we're demolishing these eastern troops. And there's a port here, so we need to secure this port. Don't want to waste that 50% boost on a short time period, such as an encryption tech. We're going to go for the computing. They're making a few pushes here and there, but for the most part, we're still holding quite well. Just infrastructure getting damaged, where I can't live with, which is all good. Oh, what's going on here? 
Are we at war with more than we imagine? What? Oh, we are at war with the Union of Burma. Oh, it's because... Oh, okay, I know what's happening now. It's because we're, uh, we're allied with our buddies, aren't we? And I think because they've declared war on us, all of our allies have automatically joined. Ah, okay. I never thought of that. Uh, we need more reconnaissance. I'm going to add that on to you. And they got pushed out. That's okay. Can we clear these boys up? That's good. And you guys are done now. Good. You guys are gonna go here. All right, that's fine. There's gonna be some crazy shuffling going on now, though. Okay, how far away from getting beaten up? They're pr practically dead. Is there any city that we can grab? Just There's this one here too, but there's going to have to get over a big river, so that's not going to be doable. Go here, gobbling up all the small bits of land. There we go, and they're gone. Ah, <sighs> you know what the problem now is? My allies might try and take land, and we're gonna have some awful borders. Ah, oh, no! Don't you dare take that! Whew. There we go. Whoa, heart attack, heart attack. Nearly had it then. There we go. Boom, done. We have unified India. Yay, we did it. We did it, boys. We need this research slot before we can continue, though. All right, so for the most part, this infantry has become redundant now. Um, focus on some crazy production of... Planes. Uh, we can unify India, but not quite yet. I want the extra search slot first. Uh, where are we getting our aluminium from? Caribbean, yep. Yeah. Oil from... Indonesia? Indonesia's part of Germany, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well that's pretty much that done. Um... And there's nothing really else left to invade. All the southern states were occupied. So that's pretty much it, guys. Unification of India. Well, there you go. That was pretty quick. Gain, gain one plane. Nice. Nice. There you go. Done. So at this point, I suppose we could make our armed forces larger again, I suppose. A bit more oil. Oh, that's the max oil. Uh, Pacific States has got lots of oil. Burmese question. Restore independent Burma. This decreases world tension. Or oh, we lose political power and we occupy it. Yeah, sure, we'll occupy it. We want a glorious, huge India, right? We went down that tech tree to get the boost of an extra research slot, so we are going to go all the way and complete it. What we originally intended to do. Yeah, well that's pretty much it guys. That's uh, how you unify India really, really, really quickly. I'm trying to think of anything I could have done really a little bit better. I think for the most part that went really, really smooth. Remember, where attack these two nations may attack you earlier. There might be an event for an uprising in the south of here where you have an opportunity to gobble up some of their land. There's lots of lots of bits and pieces and whatnot that you need to be aware of. So for the most part, all I'm gonna do now is just play the game and have have fun, really. 
So, uh, I don't know, I'm having a lot of, quite a blast playing this at the moment, so why not? Why not continue? We need the extra search light because we're going to research the higher techs, tactical bombers. Uh, we can afford the French colonies. Ban all French institutions, enforce Indian values. I don't actually know what this does. More resistance. Yeah, I don't actually know what that actually does, so... Oh. More resistance, breaking that infrastructure, how annoying. <laughs> this can be a kind of a loyal, royal elite army, these guys. And everyone else can be like, just armies as such. Breaking my factories, dude. Empire of China's the Cloud War on Qing. So I don't I haven't looked real much around the world, have I? Indonesia is independent. Ah, oh, so they were part of Germany, but now they're independent. Okay. Persia declaring war on the Ottomans. We got the Axis against the Ottomans, as they always do. We have a very large Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh, okay. So they've formed a Lithuanian Commonwealth. That's kind of cool. Cool. That's pretty cool. Seeing as I'm such in a, a great spot right now, I guess I could invest into something like tanks or something, I suppose. And go for some really cool light tanks, maybe. Light tanks and motorized, maybe, I don't know. Extra search lot, unify India. I guess we could rush tanks, maybe. Either go for... Planes, or the... Yeah, so now we're kind of unified as such. I feel like we don't have to concentrate as much on our military anymore, do we? Construction is always going to be worthwhile. I think we'll just go for the tank anyway. Vickers 2, Matilda LP. I want to rush the Valentine. I want like lots of light tanks. Get the crazy speed on those light tanks. Infrastructure damage. So the way this works after here is you go for a lot of these events here. All these southern events here. And what they do is they give cause on the lands in the south of India. That's pretty much what it does. Can we go for war economy? Because we have to be at war. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Drop us a comment below of anything you're thinking about this episode. Apart from that, we have a good day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.